Hi guys and welcome to another Minecraft video. So this one's just going to be detailing what I've kind of been up to, at least sailing ship wise. I've got quite a few built. Uh, you'll notice that this is orange because it's not in the line. But um, been building Chinese ships, been building Greek ships and trying to do other stuff. A lot of people really like the sailing ships. Uh, I quite like doing the sailing ships. They just take a lot of time. So when I had time out, I've actually been able to build them. So it's going to kind of go over everything and me trying to figure out styles and stuff I don't actually need any of this crap. Also ignore those as their health tutorials. But yeah, so we had this uh Chinese junk. Junk is like a, a kind of traditional Chinese ship or Asian ship, Oriental ship. Um this one's just built off a Chinese design so in the tutorial it's called a Chinese one. But this is a cat rig which is a single kind of one. You also notice that there isn't anything tying it off. Most of them actually didn't. Uh you're also gonna notice that there's loads of these in the background. It's because I reused the same one so that it to have a look at what it looks like and then in the tutorial I'll figure it out. Um the next one that we have is a schooner 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 version of it. Yeah, schooner version of it. So slightly scaled up. So again, this is me figuring out a style. I've never done Asian ships before. So I started off with a tiny one, I went to the next size. Okay, wait, this one is a schooner or schooner or however the hell you say it. Um this one does have an interior at least. But yeah, quite nice. Uh this one time it actually has a cabin which you walk down into and then Really cool. This looks really cool on or where I've got it on the server. Also, you can see there's a cargo hold down there, so you can actually uh, go down and actually walk around. It's quite nice. So we've got a big one, Shuna. So we've got that. That'll be coming up in the tutorial. You guys don't have to ask for these for tutorials. I'm already working my way through them. I've already done that one. That one's already done. Uh, this one will probably be next for the Asian ones. Uh, the next one we have is a catch. Now, I reckon I should have probably switched around these two things. So I went a slightly bigger bigger ship wise and I try to catch. Catch is basically the same as a schooner, but the front sail is the big one, then you got the small one here. It's really weird. I'm not that keen on them. I I'm not too sure how they work, but I wanted to just try out a catch in this kind of style. So you get a slightly bigger one yet again. Um so there you go, you can see that this cabin's a lot bigger. Also you have the steps that go down to here. So you can see the cargo hoard is a lot bigger than the the actual schooner version of the kind of Asian or Chinese junk. Um, and that one also has got an interior. So there's that catch there. I don't think it looks quite right. Uh, this is the first ship. Now, I can't remember how many of I've actually got. And I can't do speed on this one because I'm on a single player. Um, I think these are the two. I think it's a small one. That's a medium one. I can't remember. I classed them somehow. All well, these are medium ships. I think these are two medium ships size. I don't know. The tutorial, whenever I get around to it, will be done. This is a ship rig. So that means that you've got a, the main sail's the biggest one, that's the one in the middle. Uh, the front one is the second biggest, then you get this kind of small, smaller one at the back. So it's ship rigged, or ship rigged in the sense of the junk. So this is a lot bigger. And of course, you know, cargo hold is quite big as well. So you can see it's quite small like underneath. It's very flat bottomed, these. They actually were quite flat bottomed. And this is... Oh, okay, this is where the cabin will be. Yeah, I'm going to have to figure out something for this. I have started on bits of interiors for these, so by the time the tutorial comes out, that will be one. That's the first small one, or medium one? Medium one. Pretty sure I call it a medium one. I don't think there's one after that one. See, I think these are the two medium. I'm pretty sure they are. I, I, I have to have a look at them all kind of together, I guess. So there we go, we get that. Uh, this is the other medium one, so slightly bigger hold again. You get this extra block, and the back is quite interesting. It's got multiple levels? No, it's just got two levels. So you've got like a, a bottom down here which is going to be more cargo-y and then you've got like an extra layer up here. So you kind of step down again. This is just to make the roof really big. And you can see me trying to connect in something there but um, I think this one's quite nice. It's quite nice. It's quite big. So they're getting up in size. Uh, the next one this is probably my first large ship. I think it is. Yes, this is my first large ship. So this is my first large um, Chinese junk. So it's got this really massive sail. And you can see the sails are starting to get really big now. Uh, so you've got this here. And this time it's got detailed kind of windows. These kind of like little bits. And everything on it uh, with the Chinese one I tried to go quite detailed on this back piece. It really wasn't on the on the extra traditional ones. Because we're in Minecraft it kind of makes sense to do so. Uh, so there you go. You can see that this cabin's a lot more fancy and it looks really good in or on the server where I've got it. But um, yeah, quite cool. Uh, working on the interior for this one. This one does have actual two floors as well. Uh, this is just an interesting way to get down, <laughs> I found. But there you go, massive cargo hauled. So, yeah, that's pretty massive. And, of course, you can come out the front. Oh. 
So there's that one, and then we have the final one, which is the biggest one I've made so far. I'm sure I'll make more, but um, yeah, I'm probably going to make the Zeng Fei, Zeng Fei, Zeng Fei. I can't remember what his name is. There was there was a guy that had the big treasure ships. I'm going to make one of those at some point. So this is kind of like working up to it. This one's a little bit bigger. There you go. You can see the cabin looks really kind of cool. Uh, I've gone for a similar step design like this, but this time it has two decks. So you get this deck here, and you get a deck under here. So it's actually got two two cargo decks as such, and uh, yeah, quite a big cabin, which I'm sure I'll be uh, working with and doing lots of stuff. But I'm um, trying to go for quite detailed ones with these, and I really like the sales so that's all of the oriental asian chinese based ones that i've done so far um things that i'll just talk about with this style uh, the front is actually normally really flat so that's actually quite flat i've actually added in this ridge because i've seen a couple of them with that um but yeah they're really interesting shape wise they're just like normal ships but at the back it really does it tends to go from here and then flicks up like this uh also one thing that you'll notice is these so why the hell is there holes in the rudder? Well, the actual rudders, we usually actual masts that go, well not masts, but um, like a pole that goes to, for example, here, it'd be coming out. You might wonder why I haven't done something like that. It's just because of space, and it it doesn't look quite right. I tried doing it. It just ripped all the way through the captain's cabin and went all the way down. So basically the reason there's holes is because, because it's a stick, and you've got to push it with man, f like, basically, like, man force or man force? Human force, human muscle, you know, all that kind of stuff. Because you have to actually push it with that. What they did is they put holes in the actual rudder, which made it more streamlined, so it's actually easier to turn. They have a bigger one still, so it will drag. Um, so they actually did that. So yeah, that's the big one. Um, also the batten sails. And by batten sails, this is the ribbing type part of it. Um, that's usually with bamboo. I've just gone with like black and red because it's very, very Chinese. Um, very Chinese, especially the red. So yeah, they, this was actually to, to strengthen the sail. It meant that these individual ones were really strong. And also if, for example, the sail broke, if you had a big ship like one of these and a the sail rips somewhere, it really damages it. With the Chinese ones, if, for example, this one ripped right here, you still got all that strength from all the others, so it doesn't affect it as much as you would think it would. So it's very clever in a kind of design, in a design way. It's really, really clever. Um, also, these look better with... I've got my field of view here, there we go. If I have a look at it on these, you can then see the shape a bit better with um, more field of view. I'll actually do that with all of these because they're quite interesting. Uh, what we have next is a schooner or schooner or however the hell you say it. So this is a really small ship. Um, it's my kind of first attempt at one, to be honest. Uh, it's very small, quite nice. I started to work on these sails. Um, I'm not, if anybody has a nice technique for them, please do say. Because um, I... I don't know. I don't know an easy way. The problem is that I have to think of teaching you guys. So I try to make things simple, and I try to make it so that you guys can follow it. But I'm struggling with these. So if you guys have any suggestions, uh, but yeah, Shuna, it's just got two of these sails. They're all these kind of like sideways type sails. Um, I was watching Mr. Beastie, and I saw that he did that. So this this part here with the kind of like slabs and then the blocks. This is Mr. Beastie's part. Uh, so all credit goes to him for. For me seeing those, I saw those and that just looked cool, so I ended up doing that. I uh, kind of did my own thing up here and, and just tied it off just very softly. Um, but yeah, very simple, nice little ship, I think, the Shuna. And I, I've actually used with Conquest, we've got the coloured wood planks, so I've actually put those in. And yeah, simple cabin. It, it does have an actual cabin, so I've actually got that. And yeah, you can see it's very, very tiny. So this is me doing a mixture of ships. I'm not just trying to do, you know, Asian ones now, I'm trying to. Uh, do all different types, and there we go, you can see the captain's cabin, it's literally got a bed in there, that's that's it, it's tiny. Um, right, so let's get the hell out of this, get out of this, there we go. Uh, one that's currently under construction, I thought it'd be quite interesting to show you guys what I do when I construct them. I wanted to make a brig, but it's kind of turned into a six for eight. Uh, it ended up being a little bit bigger than I, I thought it was going to be. So you can see I've got the six for eight ship of the line here, and uh, you can see how wide that is I guess. You can see how wide that one is. This one's basically a, a smaller, slimmer version of it. So what I usually do, if I've got a kind of style, and the Sigfrey was the newest of the warship type European ships. So what I've done is I've kind of pulled that in, and you'll, you'll see another ship over here. I pulled that in, and I've kind of used those colours and used those, the way that I've done certain things on it. 
and I'm trying to put that into an uh, entire style, and, and that's kind of my new style for the time being. I'm sure at some point I'll change and everything will change. So I've got this one here. It's kind of like a small brig, well, a large brig or a sick freight. It depends on the final one, uh, but it'll have a similar, well, I have exactly the same uh, kind of brig sails as, as this one. So yeah, I'm just using that as a base. So this is a new one, a little bit smaller, a little bit more slimmer. Um, as you can see, but it's quite cool. I might take off a couple of guns and just call it a, a brig or a large brig. So yeah, you go, you got your gun deck. So pretty cool. Um, as you can see, it is smaller than the sick freight. It's a bit thinner, but still very, very cool. So that one I'll be finishing off, and then I'll have a interior tour, and then I'll have a tutorial, of course. Um, this I thought it was really interesting uh, to show you guys this because then you've got one. You've almost got different ships, and you'll notice that I build ships randomly this was literally a line and i've just built the line as i go along um like seriously so yeah this one's kind of like um, holes done and i put in the guns to figure out how many guns it's got to see if i need to change the shape to fit the guns in nicely or not um and if i need to do any changes to the hole and then i've started to do the masks and you can see i've put in the guideline for one but i haven't done the back one this one is how i build ships so i build half of a ship and that's all I do. You can see here I'm trying to figure out the mass length. I think I've gone too high. Definitely gone too high. But um, this is a third rate ship of the line. I don't know why I decided to do a third rate. I think it's because of the two decks and I haven't done that before. Uh, so I've tried to get this one quite rounded. But I've, I've tried to make it quite wide as well. And you'll see that it's, it's in half. Um, now what Mr. Beastie does. Like you guys know Mr. Beastie for ships. is He actually rounds these up on each side like on a real ship. Um, I don't like it purely for interiors, so I, I'd prefer to make them flat, less historic, but better for interiors and interior shapes. But you can see how many decks are here, you've got one, two, three, and four, and then fifth if you count this one in here. Um, but that, that's just how I lay out my decks, um, so you can see I'm actually figuring it out as I build it, and I, I tried to make this one actually work out, so you get like the really low bet deck. I would have liked an extra block here, it's only got two and a half pretty much per deck. But sailing ships were really cramped, so this actually kind of makes sense. You've got a gun deck there, you've got a gun deck there. Uh, just laying out the guns and laying out the different cabins here, because we've got three different types of cabins. Uh, so this is a really small one, probably captains. And you've got these guns in here as well, inside the room. Uh, and then you actually go up. So this is, this is literally how I build my ships. I build half, and then I'll, I'll use MC Edit to flip them around, and then I will basically mirror them. Uh, I might be able to show you that guys. Actually no I can't. Screen capture doesn't like it. I've tried it before with MC Edit. Um, <laughs> unless I get bandy cam again. But um, yeah. What you can do is yeah, just make basically make half of the ship completely half like this and then you just copy and paste it onto the other side and mirror it and you just you just line it up and that's it. That's how I do mine. It It is a lot easier and you can see where everything's going then. As you can see like this. Now this one I might actually have these masts go down and then go back as well so they have the, the shape going through I'm not too sure yet but yeah third rate ship of the line that one is coming they just it's taking a little bit of time because it's a big one and it's a bit more complicated now on to the Greek Roman Egyptian things why do I say Greek Roman Egyptian because triremes uniremes all of this type of ship is very Mediterranean very very Mediterranean so I'm just kind of messing around with that at the minute and I've got five of them so far so there'll be tutorials coming out of these just, you know, slowly. They'll just keep on coming through and, yeah, it'll be quite cool. This is a uni ream. Um, because of the way Minecraft is, this would probably be a bi ream, but it's a uni ream because it's only got one set of paddles. So my mine get a bit bigger. I had to upscale all of these. It was the only way it worked. This was my attempt at uh, a historical bi ream. Didn't work. But, um, yeah, you got the two sails, but it's mainly all powered. Um... Yeah, this is just quite cool, I think. It was quite nice. It's a little bit different. And the way that I've done the oars is quite different as well. So i try to actually have the oar banks in here. Pretty cool. Very simple. Uh, stripey type thing. I, I don't know. Very, very simple. Um, we then have another uni ream. I think this one's slightly bigger. Yeah, slightly bigger. But it's different. It hasn't got the front. It hasn't actually got the front sail. Uh, it does need white wool in there. Um, I've got this on the actual one that I've got for, or done for the, tu I've actually done one for the tutorial of this already. It needs to have a white thing in here. <laughs> so that's just me. But I have added that. Um, so this is just a slightly different one. Again, it's just a 
give variation without having that front mast if you don't want the front mast. Uh, this is another uni ream. <laughs> another one. Yep. I forgot that again. I don't know why. I, I've got it on all of the other ones on the actual... I think it's just whatever schematic I've pulled is an older one. So yeah, another uni ream. Um, very simple. This one's a bit bigger. As you can see, it's almost like twice the size of the first one that you had. This is just going up to, you know, the buy room, which is a, a two order one. But still, one single set of oars. Quite big, though. And then the one we have have after this is a buy room. So this is where we start to get to the bigger ones. So this has got two sets of oars, as you can see. And I tried something different on this. This is actually this is actually my first one, I think. Uh, yeah, this is my first one. Weirdly. And I went my way backwards. Uh, I was playing around with the, the sizes. I wanted to do quite a big one to try and figure out the like things. So the front doesn't look as good. I don't think it does anyway. But um, yeah, there's a buy room. Uh, so you got two sets. So that's quite cool. There's an offset. Very simple. You know, nothing nothing too complicated about those. So we just jump down in here. There you go. So you can see the actual things there. Pretty simple. And then we have a trireme. Uh, this is a monster. This is way, way overscaled because it was the only the only way I could actually do it is by overscaling it. I'm not too bothered about that to be honest. But yeah, this is the overscaled one. This is actually my favourite one. Um, the sails I got on this looked freaking amazing. So I was really happy when I actually finished off those sails. Uh, I really bent them as well. So yeah, you got really nice sails on those. And a massive ram. This is way overscaled though. But there you go. You can see the three banks of oars. Um... Uh, pretty cool. This is why I haven't gone any further than those. But actually, uh, Quintamarines, or basically four sets. It wasn't really four sets. It was actually four people. Or Quinta? Quin? Quad. Quadmarine would have four people. Quintamarine would have five. So you'd have uh, amounts of people pulling the same ore. So this could actually be a, a really big one. So there you go. You've got two decks. And you've also got these beams. And I've put the beams in. Um, simply just so that it looks like you're just sitting down somewhere where you can actually get onto them without actually putting in a floor because if I put in a floor it looks really weird also I, had to, I bowed it like this for some reason I just thought it looked good um, so yeah I got that and also got the under layer or under layer another, another layer down this is more of a hold so it's actually got a hold and it's got a main rowing deck I think it's quite interesting the sail is huge really is. But yeah, that's all the sailing ships that I've been working on, guys. Um, just a little bit of an update video. So tell me if you guys like me doing this. Uh, this is kind of what I do when I have a break anyway. Usually I end up building stuff that I want to build. And these, this is the kind of ones I want to build. But as always, there's going to be tutorials coming out for these, um, you know, in due time. But thanks very much for watching, guys. Uh, tell me which one you actually want to see more, like, in general, like, you know, Oriental ships, Greek ships, or... European ones, so I'm trying to work on all of them. Um, modern warships as well, those will be coming, of course. Uh, I've just got loads of those built already, so I'm just going to work my way through those. But thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe for more, and I will see you guys on the next one.